Hey everyone, this is Mike here with another Let's Play. Today we're playing Blues and Bullets. I want to thank A Crowd of Monsters, the developers um, slash publisher, for giving me uh, this copy. So go into our go, go into play here. All right, episode one, the end of peace. We'll select that. Scene one. And this is kind of like a um, a noir adventure game. And we're just going to let this load up and see what we have to do here. And pretty much everything is in black and white, except for a few things that have color, like that butterfly. Um, kind of similar to the effects used in the Sin City films, how, you know, blood would be red, but the rest of the film would be black and white. Got some credits rolling here. Going through, um, looks like a cave or something like that. Crowd of Monsters. Again, th want to thank them for giving me this review copy. Like, we're entering into, um, a dungeon. As you can see, there's all the red from, um, blood and stuff like that. We got this, this dude walking around. I'm very inter interested to see how this plays, because I'm a, I was a big fan of um, L.A. Noir and, you know, films like, like, like L.A. Confidential and things like that. So, let's see where we're at here. Alright, we got, it's like kids in dungeons, with lots of blood everywhere. See what, see what these kids are doing. Try to escape. All right. Let me see where I can go here. Guess I better. Hmm. What if I investigate a bucket? There's something over here. See what, this, see what this kid is holding over here. Get me out of here, please. Uh. I didn't see what that was. Can I do anything with that bucket now? Don't think so. If we don't escape. I'll be punished. I've been bad. Like calm, silence, and confidence. Right, go with confidence. Just keep watch. Okay. What if we're caught? You see, one down. That just leaves yours and the one on the door. I'll be punished. I've been bad. I'll be punished. It's okay. So this is pretty cool, like, I guess you, um, like, a lot of these other games have, like, The Wolf Among Us and Walking Dead have different dialogue options, and sometimes that'll affect, you know, how the story plays out. Let's see, now I need to unlock his cell, looks like. Uh-oh. Get over to his cell open that before that door opens. Nope, another latch is open. Doing? Help me, please. There isn't time to open both locks. Yes, quick. Try to open his cell and see what happens. Quick, quick.
gonna hide. All right. What the heck? So, it's like some kind of some kind of cult or something. What? Man, that kid totally sold me out. Hey, not cool, kid. Not cool. Man, this is pretty intense. Let's see where we are now. All right, let it load up. Here we go. Missing. cops. Alright, here's the diner. Shares the title of the game. Blues and Bullets Diner, it looks like. Elliot? Just a second. I thought you were on the day shift. Pi? Well, I just slipped out for a second. This arrived for you at the station. Thanks. I'll put it in the back room, then I'll get you a slice of pie. Deal? I'm kind of in a hurry. What kind? Blueberry. It's a deal. Pick up the check. Grab that. Cool. Elliot Ness. Guess you playing as him. Not sure how long after the whole Untouchables thing this is, but... Alright, I just have to put that in the office. It's not much, but I earned it. Alright, is there anything else in this office I can interact with? Chair. It's seen better days, like a lot of us. Hey, Ness, where's my burger? All right, you got guys yeah, yelling for food. It, Ness, you gotta be the slowest waiter in Santa Esperanza. All right, tell him the patience. Okay, Dickinson, coming right up. <laughs> anyway. They catch the deadbeat robbing the pharmacy, but th <laughs> there's no proof, so they hand him over to me. Elliot, seriously, I don't have much time. Hey, jeez. All right, here we go. Take your time. If Jenkins says anything, tell him it's my fault. And let him know that I'll continue to keep his agents waiting until he settles his tab. <laughs> I don't think I dare. Mm. But this is worth getting in trouble for. To think, I didn't find my true calling until I was in my 50s. Prepare his order. Okay. 
directing me over here. And this time, go easy on the chili sauce. Gives me indigestion. More or enough. Uh, I don't know. I'll just give him a little bit. Done. Okay, I tell him, if you confess right now, I finish work on time, and everybody's happy. If you don't, I have to work late. <laughs> I get mad, and I have to rearrange your face. You really said that? There you go. And listen to this, Ness. <laughs> and then I say to him, <laughs> the doctor will have to work late too, and it'll be your fault. He'll be mad. And when he's done fixing your mug, it'll be so ugly, you'll never get laid again. <laughs> he's saying, right? Yeah, like a soprano. <laughs> and you know what I did next, Ness? You rearranged his face. Exactly. You see, criminals are like dogs. <laughs> By the time they get punished, they forget what they did wrong. But a bust-up face is forever. Jeez, man. Oh, oh, God, this burger is dry as dust. Are you sure you put sauce on it? Of course, Dickinson. A splash, to be precise. Ah, screw you, Ness. Yeah, he told me to go easy on it. Jeez, man. All right, attend to suspicious customer. Your first time here, right? I like this job, you know. Not because I like serving coffee or food. This job is about understanding people, knowing what they want, what they need. You just have to keep your eyes open. The clothes, the haircut, a little movement, a hand clutching a knife. Don't even think about it. Not because of me. At most, I'd knock out a couple of your teeth before disarming you. The guys you should be worried about are the cops at the other table. They'd keep kicking you in the ribs long after you passed out. You'd be lucky to wake up in a hospital. The question is, what do I do with you now? Hmm. I'm still pretty nice. I'll go with kindness on this one. Buy yourself a suit, son. Get a, shape, a decision. Get a job, and make a man of yourself. And if you come back here looking for trouble, you'll find it. All right. We'll have to see how that decision affects the um, rest of the game. You want coffee? Mm -mm. I forgot to thank you for bringing my pension check. Well, I saved you a trip. And a headache. The station's full of Dickinsons. Your dad would be proud of you. Thanks. But not Jenkins. <laughs> Easy there, miss. Slow and steady wins the race. Mm. If I don't get some blackberry pie this minute, I'm gonna die before this day is out. Can you help me, sir? I'm afraid not. That's too bad. I need something sweet for my last day on Earth. Blueberry pie? Last slice. Hmm. You use almond extract? Quarter of a teaspoon. Which brand? I make my own. All right, let's serve this guy some pie. Do I know you from someplace? Me? No. But you do know my boss. All right, things are getting interesting. Drops off a bullet. Let's see what's next. All right, 20 years earlier. Wonder if this goes into the entire Untouchables era of Elliot Ness's career. So we have this bullet. Garrison.
Harrison, O'Reilly, DiPietro, Dockers. Hmm, oh, Capone. Wow, it is getting interesting. Very interesting. Harrison, O'Reilly, DiPietro, Dockers. Garrison, O'Reilly, DiPietro, Dockers. Garrison, O'Reilly, DiPietro, Dockers. You, call your boss. I have business to settle with him. <sighs> Can't even enjoy a quiet smoke. Look. I get it. It's Christmas. You're lonely and you want to end it all. But Santa Esperanza is full of bridges. Why not throw yourself off one of them and leave me in peace? Tell Capone that Elliot Ness is here. We're going to finish this thing once and for all. Jeez, I don't get paid enough. Listen, you got it backwards. I'm not here to make my boss come out. I'm here to stop you getting in. Hmm. I hope you asked Santa Claus for crutches, because if you don't do what I say, they're going to be the perfect gift for you. Maybe I could borrow a pair from your buddy, Dockers. I hear he's never gonna need him again. Ooh. You shouldn't have brought that up. Oh no? You gonna cry now? Hey, come on. It's Christmas. Trial. All right, left trigger to aim. Change cover with A. Aim at that guy. Got the guy with a machine gun there. One more guy over here. Very cool. This is also, you know, a kind of your cover shooter or whatever that that uh, genre is called. Got some explosive barrels, even. All right, those are on fire. Those guys are done. We need more man. Uh, oh, missed it. Oh, there goes that. I missed a quick time of that. All right, let's retry that. We need more man. Alright, now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. It's not a diehard game, but had to make a joke. Alright, drop that guy. Alright, I guess that can't be reloaded. Very cool shooter sequences so far. Is that a... That's his blood. I thought that was a barrel. Alright, clear that. That area's clear. Alright, there's one more guy over here somewhere. There he is.
All right, let's go walk inside here. All right, yeah, those shooter segments are, or sequences are pretty fun. Pretty straightforward, some quick time events. All right, go see Capone. All right. I don't want to spoil too much of this story, so I'm going to end this Let's Play here. But um, if you like this game, check it out on Steam. Or if you like what you've seen, I'll have a link in the description. I want to thank the developers and publishers for giving me this review copy. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I really like the atmosphere, the, the visuals. The music is pretty good. Um, you know, the voice acting is pretty fun. And it's also um, a pretty interesting story so far. So... Again, I'll have a link, in, link to the Steam page in the description. And as always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see, all, see you all next time. Have a good one.